Hey, welcome back to After the Episode, brought to you by Line Cutters, the adjustable ring that cuts fish in line. Hey, welcome back to Line Cutters After the Episode, right here on 30 Miles Out. I went on a typical BTB trip. Uh, I was guiding Mr. Bill from Dallas, Texas. We had a great time. The seas were a little bit rougher than normal, as you can see from the episode that I like to go out in anyway, but uh, that chop does help the bite for some reason. And uh, so there we were out there, uh, you know, a local spot, local hot spot here in Pensacola. I'm going to give you all a rundown of all the gear I was using first. So first of all, my meat and potatoes, anytime I'm trolling, is typically a 5,000, sometimes a 6,000 pin battle to combo. Seven foot rod, medium heavy. In this case, I put a 5,000 clash on it. Just because I had it, and it's a little bit lighter than a Battle II, but I use the Battle IIs all the time. Love them. This one is kind of my meat and potatoes for BTB. I could cast this and throw it a Kobe if I had to, troll it, vertical jig it. It kind of does it all. The Battle II combo that, you know, if this was normally the Battle II reel, Battle II rod, I mean, it's like a hundred and something. I mean, it's not much, man, and they are a great bang for the buck. I also use the smaller version. The Battle 2 rod, and a lot of times the Battle 2 real combo of Pin Fierce uh, 4000. But this Battle 2 rod is a great smaller, this medium heavy, it's a great smaller rod for offshore. It's got enough backbone that I could fight. If I hook, accidentally hooked a king, I could fight it. Um, but it's great for a little toonie and stuff like that that have a lot of power. You can see it's got a thicker backbone than, uh, than a, a typical inshore. So I usually bring this and the 5000, but on that day, I think you, you will see in the video, I was using this Daiwa Laguna. It's a very, very inexpensive rod. It's pretty light. This one's a medium heavy, and I was using it to throw my Thai spoon and catch bait. So it had a Pen Fierce 2, 4000 or 3000 on there. Super light rod, but a little bit more backbone. Probably the lightest in my fleet that I would carry offshore. So what was I throwing to catch those ladyfish and hopefully hardtail jacks in the beginning? I was using my Thai DIY spoon. And if you check out the episode um, on my DIY spoon, casting spoon, you'll see how to make it. Very simple, man. Very simple. It's a piece of lead I squashed with a hammer and put nail polish from the dollar store on. Catches a lot of Spanish. Catches a lot of bluefish for bait. Catches a lot of hardtail jacks for bait. All right. Now another thing that was critical for bait catching, speaking of bait catching, was my pool noodle DIY hand line. All right, now I've got two four ounce egg sinkers on here because I was using this for a Cajun depth finder. <laughs> but really, you're gonna have a pool noodle with a piece of PVC inside to stiffen it up. I usually put a little bit of glue before I stick that PVC inside. And then I grab some of my old trusty uh, 40 pound test trilene. And I put a sabiki rig, tie sabiki rig on there, and then a four ounce egg sinker or pyramid sinker. So you just want something heavy, man. And that way you can thump the bottom with it. I got a mess going. Don't worry, don't worry. Got a mess going. And I could drop that over the side and you'll see me thumping the bottom with it. Thump, 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 thump. And then you can feel the, the, the uh, cigars and stuff whacking it. This is my, usually my second or third rod in the boat. It's very small and light. I throw it behind me. I can put the sabikis in the pool noodle itself. When I'm done, it makes them last four or five trips as opposed to using a new sabiki every trip. Sabikis stay in the pool noodle instead of being on the rod. When on the rod, they catch the rope, your clothes. <laughs> they catch everything when they're on the rod. So this has been a, a really cool little invention. Um, love using it. If I'm not throwing my tie spoon, if the Spanish are thick, I like to throw these because if they cut me off 10 feet above the line, I can make a dozen of these in no time with one little bag of 99 cent weights from Walmart. Uh, when, the, when I'm really on the hunt for some, some little toonie or, or Spanish or something and I want to use a little nicer lure, these tiny gotcha plugs, I always go with small because I catch bait and I catch big stuff. The Little glo the uh, little minnows that they're after are small, probably about the size of that little tubing. 
So gotchas are a necessity for me. It's basically an upgrade from my little weight DIY lure. All right, now you saw the line cutters edition uh, fish grip. I keep these in the boat at all times. Um, man, that's pretty much it. Oh, let's not forget this. What was I putting my bait in? I was putting my bait in the old torpedo bait bucket. I catch those cigars, I throw them in here, snap the hatch, and I tie it right beside me and let it just go beside the boat. This thing runs subsurface and it has the least amount of drag on any bait bucket that I've ever pulled. Very light. This is a typical kingfish of giant Spanish leader, uh, 27 pound Berkeley uncoated wire. Very thin, thin. I can tie it like mono. I'll put a picture here. There you go. So that's pretty much it. That's what I was doing for after the, uh, for that trip, BTB. It was a fun day. We had lots of hookups. Y'all saw how he cut my, <laughs> cut my handle, man. That kind of pissed me off. I was mad. But uh, I put a little Gorilla, gorilla Goo under it and put it right back. No problem, no sweat. I've had Kingfish cut my Mirage Drive, Mirage Drive fins. That's the first time I've ever had them cut a handle, but they go so fast. And if they swipe under the boat, that braid is so fine, it's liable to chop anything in its way. So you got to be careful about that. Hey, thanks a lot for watching 30 Miles Out after the episode. Brought to you by Line Cutters. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. No, Teresa is not here today. She's out there walking around the yard. She said, I didn't go. I don't need to be in this one. I have to do my hair. We'll let her do yard work. I'll catch y'all next time. Hey, keep your paddles wet, people. What?